Hello YouTube. Today we're taking another look at planetary alignment watch videos and we're asking the question what defines a planetary alignment and we're going to look at the distances involved and look at the angles and the separation involved. Here is a video by the Bark Roller for July 14-15 for 2012 and in this video the Bark Roller is claiming that there will be an alignment between Earth, Venus and Jupiter on these dates. But the main alignment that falls on this date is between Earth, Venus and Jupiter and this is a very strong alignment and normally this would produce possibly around a 7 magnitude earthquake felt here on Earth but there are... Okay so let's take a closer look at this alignment. We can clearly see in the imagery here that we apparently have an alignment between Earth, Venus and Jupiter using solar system scope. But what if we have a look at this alignment using some proper astronomy software that is shown to scale? This is the view in Starry Night Pro. I've set my view to Wellington, New Zealand. I could set it to the centre of the Earth but it wouldn't make too much difference really. So we see that I've got the date set to the 14th of July and the time is set to just before midnight so we're halfway between the 14th and 15th of July UTC. So we can see Jupiter and Venus in the sky. I'm going to zoom in and I'm going to check the uh, the separation between Jupiter and Venus on this on this date. Okay so we can see that we've got uh, just over six and a half degrees of angular separation at this time. Now if we have a look at the comments on the Bark Rollers video somebody has asked him the question um, how many degrees apart do they need to be to be aligned? Now this isn't me asking the question by the way this is somebody else and the bark roller has replied that uh, classification of alignments for me are within six degrees of separation. So there we have it, six degrees of separation. Let's take another look at Starry Night Pro. We checked the separation between Jupiter and Venus and we found that it's actually, let me just get that again, it's actually just over six and a half degrees. Uh, there are 60 arc minutes to a degree, so 39. You're looking at about two-thirds of a degree there. So you've got six degrees plus two-thirds. Now if we're using a, um, a limit of six degrees for our alignments then let's have a look at that. Just bear with me. This is a six degree field of view. Now if we center that on Jupiter so we've got three degrees either side of Jupiter here. We can see that Venus is not even within that six degree circle. Okay, Even if we move it over here and have Jupiter just inside the six degree circle, then Venus is still outside of that six degree circle. So if we're going to allow six degrees, we really have to center it either side or the other option of course is to double it and allow a 12 degree uh, circle. But even if we use a 12 degree circle at this time then Venus is still outside of that 12 degree field of view or angle of separation. Okay, now let's look at the mathematics in this. We can actually calculate the, the width of the, the zone uh, when we get out to Jupiter and, and see how wide that zone would have to be to include um, an alignment with another planet. So here we see the, the Earth, we see Venus and we see Jupiter. Now currently at this date Venus is 0.466 astronomical units from Earth. One AU or astronomical unit is the average distance between the Sun and the Earth and it's a convenient unit of measure in astronomical terms because of the vast distances involved in the, in the solar system. We see that Jupiter is at 5.67 AU from the Earth and we've got six degrees 
between Jupiter and Venus as seen from the Earth. OK, let's look at the mathematics on this. One astronomical unit is 149,598,000 kilometres. The distance to Venus is currently 69,712,000 kilometres and the distance to Jupiter is currently 848,220,000 kilometres. Now using mathematics we can actually calculate the width of this zone between Jupiter and Venus where we get to the point where we're out as far as Jupiter. Okay, obviously Venus is much closer to the Earth than Jupiter, and by the way, this diagram is not to scale, and the planet sizes are not to scale. It is indicative only, but the, the angle here is shown correctly as 6 degrees. So by the time we get out to Jupiter, just how wide is this zone? Using the mathematical formula uh, using the, the function tan, or tangent, we can actually calculate that distance. 1 degree tan is 0 0.017, 6 degrees tan is 0 0.105. Then we multiply that by the distance out to Jupiter, and we find that the, the distance, or the, the width of that zone, is 89 million kilometres. So we've got 89 million kilometres between Jupiter out to here, which is the extended uh, line uh, out to Venus, as if we're looking from the Earth out to Jupiter and out to Venus. The width of this zone, the 6 degree zone, is 89 million kilometres. Now, Jupiter is 142,984 kilometres in diameter. If we take our 89 million kilometres and divide it by the diameter of Jupiter, we get 623 Jupiter diameters. Now we have to ask the question, how many planet diameters does it take to make a close alignment? I would have thought that maybe two or three planet diameters would, would be a close alignment but certainly not in the order of hundreds of uh, planet diameters. Now if we go back to the problem that we had before of the 6 degrees not actually going as, as far out enough, when we centre the planet, we actually have to double that to 12 degrees. We end up with over 1,200 Jupiter diameters, uh, which is just ridiculous really, isn't it? So. As you can see from the mathematics here, and also checking in Starry Night Pro, the so-called alignments between Jupiter and Venus, it is supposedly happening on, on this date, uh, July 14, 15, um, they just don't exist. Uh, this has been a pretty heavy going uh, video with, the, uh, with mathematics and, and technical data but I hope that's helped shed some light on, on the alignments for you. Thank you for watching.